For a professional driver, inspecting his heavy vehicle before hitting the road is one of the most important tasks. It is for his safety and safeties of other road users. The procedure requires you to adapt the type of vehicle and its components. While no method is mandatory, the purpose of this video is to introduce the various components within the circle check and to also understand the defects. The order in which the verification is performed can be changed according to certain restrictions. Note that in this video, we will only mention the elements prescribed by regulation. Approaching the vehicle, check the general condition of the vehicle combination to detect any signs of defect such as the vehicle sagging, the non-parallel wheels, displaced axle, fluid on the ground, missing body components. At the front of the vehicle, inspect the fixed component of the body. As you move to the driver's side, inspect whether the driver's side door can be opened and closed. Turn on the low beams and the left turn signal. Make sure the high beams aren't lit for this check and inspect the left and right low beams headlights. Always at the front, inspect the parking lights and the left turn signal. Under the hood, inspect the power steering fluid level. In the engine component, check the fluid level in the power steering pump reservoir. This check can be done with the gauge or the markers on the reservoir. Also check the power brake liquid level. The side rail. The suspension. Check the condition of the leaf springs, their position as well as their U-bolt brackets. For tires and valves, look at the depth of the grooves of the tread. This should be checked on the entire visible part of the tire. Check the general condition of the tire and note if there is any presence of wear, damage, foreign material or bulge. Still on the front axle, inspect the condition of the wheel and their fasteners. The wheel bearing lubricant. Check if there is any traces of oil, grease on the wheel or on the ground. Important. Oil or grease leakage from the wheel hub indicates that the wheel bearings may not be sufficiently lubricated. Not enough oil or grease may cause the wheel to come off. Be vigilant. Keep inspecting the fixed components of the body, the secure mountings of all rear view mirrors and make sure they do not show any sharp edges, the crew cab door, emergency material, the fuel tank and its cap. For all types of fuel tanks, you must check the presence of a filler cap as well as the visible parts of the fuel system to identify the potential leaks. Such leaks can be detected by the presence of fuel on the ground. At the back of the truck, inspect the fixed components of the body, the suspension. Check the position and the condition of the leaf springs, the coil springs and the torsion bar. Inspect the general condition of the tire, such as wear, damage, presence of foreign material. If a tire touches a fixed component of the vehicle, shows an air leak or flat, shows a deformation or bulge related to a car gas defect. Inspect the condition of the valve. Also check the wheels and their fasteners. The wheel bearing lubricant. For traction axles, make sure there is no traces of oil leakage. On each side of the vehicle and towards the fifth wheel, Inspect the mounting angles. Check for the presence and condition of the nuts and bolts that fasten the fifth wheel to the vehicle frame. Inspect the visible parts of the fifth wheel components such as the lower coupling plate, support, jaws and the mounting angle. For the hook and the ring fasteners, inspect the element that set the hook and the ring on the vehicle. A missing or inoperative pintle hook locking mechanism is a major defect as there is a risk of separation of the combination of vehicles. Make sure the safety fasteners and their fittings are there. For all fifth wheel models, make sure to check if the mechanism is locked properly according to the manufacturer's standards. Inspect the truck's parking lights the truck's left and right turn signal lights, the license plate light, the brake light, the electric brake system cables and connections, the electric cable fixing from the front to the rear. From front to back, inspect the fixed components of the body. 
During a van trailer inspection, look at the upper and lower spars. Toward the wheels of the trailer, inspect the lower side rail. The suspension, the tires and valves, the wheels and their fasteners, the wheel bearing lubricant. At the back of the trailer, inspect the parking lights, the left and right turn signal lights. The license plate light. The brake lights. Check the brake lights when the safe installations allow you to do so or with the assistance of a second person. Also, check the fixed components of the body. On the right side on an entire combination vehicle, perform the same checks. Finish the exterior verification by checking all the right turn signals. Inside the cabin, inspect the driver's seat general condition and make sure it stays in the set position. The presence, condition of the seat belt, the passenger window, the right mirror, the windshield, the left mirror, and the driver's window. Make sure the horn is in good working condition. Try to move the steering wheel in all directions to check the sturdiness. If the steering wheel position is adjustable, make sure it remains in the same position. Turn the key in contact position and check the hydraulic brakes. Make sure the indicator light is on. Press a few times on the brake pedal and maintain the pressure. Start the engine. Observe the brake pedal slightly goes down. Make sure the pedal doesn't go all the way down to the floor. Make sure the indicator light goes off. Check the effectiveness of the wiper blades and make sure the windshield washer system sprays washer fluid onto the windshield. Turn on the blower and check if there's air blowing towards the windshield. Check the proper operation of the accelerator. If there's a hole in the floor, make sure there's no exhaust smell. Set the parking brakes and check if the indicator lights comes on. Make sure the parking brakes holds the vehicle. Try to gently move the vehicle forward. releasing the parking brakes and check if the indicator light goes off. Move the vehicle to the left and check if the left wheels of the trailer are turning freely. Move the vehicle to the right and check if the right wheels of the trailer are turning freely. By doing this, it will confirm the power steering operation. Move slightly forward and press the brake pedal to make sure there is no significant braking reduction capacity. Park the vehicle. The circuit check is completed. You can complete the report. Have a safe trip.